How to make an assault rifle in Godot. Start with a first person character controller. Watch my video on FPS controllers if you don't know how to make one. Right click on the camera node and add a ray cast as a child. Set its cast to zero on the Y axis and something like minus 200 on the Z axis. Check the box to enable the ray cast. Then right click on the camera node again and add a spatial node as a child as well. Rename it to hand. Move hand forward a bit so that it approximates where a hand might be if it were holding a gun. Next, let's make the gun. Right click on hand and add a mesh instance node as a child of it. Give it a cube mesh and adjust its size and shape until it looks kind of like a gun. Then click on the camera node, click on the camera preview at the top left, then click on the hand node and under transform, adjust its translation until the gun is in a good spot. If you want, you can change the color of the gun, but I'll leave that up to you. Next, let's create a firing animation. Right click on the main node and add an animation player. Click on the animation button and select new. Call the new animation assault fire. I set the length of the animation to 0.8 seconds, though that ended up being too long and we'll be changing that soon. But anyways, click on the mesh instance node and under transform, click on the white key icon next to translation and in the window that pops up, click create, which will create the first keyframe of the animation. Then move the blue animation slider over a bit, move the gun back a little bit on the Z axis for some recoil, click the key icon again, and then move the slider to the end of the animation, set the Z translation back to zero and click the key icon one last time. This animation ended up being too slow, so I changed the length of the animation to 0.08 seconds, and I just moved the keyframes over to fit the new animation length. On the right, if this loop animation icon is blue, which means it's on, make sure to turn it off so the animation doesn't loop forever. Now we can begin coding. In the script, we're going to create a new variable. var damage equals 10, which controls how much damage our assault rifle does. Adjust this to your liking. Create a reference to our animation player by writing onreadyvar anim underscore player equals dollar sign animation player. Create a reference to our camera by writing onreadyvar camera equals dollar sign head slash camera. And our raycast by writing onreadyvar raycast equals dollar sign head slash camera slash raycast. Next, we're going to create a function for firing the gun. Funk fire open close parentheses. Then go to project and project settings and in the input map tab, make sure you have a key binding called fire. If you don't, go ahead and make one now. Next, we're going to write if input.isAction pressed fire, animPlayer.play assault fire, which plays the firing animation when we hold down the fire button. Then write else animPlayer.stop, which stops the firing animation when you let go of the fire button. We also need to tell Godot to run the fire function, and so in physics process, write fire open close parentheses. Run the game, and when you hold down fire, the animation plays and when you let go, it stops. Next, let's make the gun do damage. Under this line, write if not animPlayer.isPlaying, print fired a shot. As you saw earlier, when you hold down fire, the firing animation loops over and over again. But in between each loop, there is a single frame where the animation is not playing. Here, we can add any behavior that we only want to happen once per animation loop. For example, when we run the game and hold fire, the console will print fired a shot once every animation loop. This is useful because then you can adjust the fire rate of the gun simply by changing the playback speed of the animation. Anyways, back in the script, we'll delete print fired a shot and write if raycast.isColliding var target equals raycast.getCollider if target.isInGroupEnemy target.health minus equals damage. So for every loop of the firing animation, the game will check if the raycast is colliding with something and if the colliding object is in the group enemy, then it will decrease its health by our damage amount. To test the gun, I'm using this enemy character that I use in a lot of my tutorials. It's got 100 health, and if its health goes to zero, then it dies. Watch my video on hitscan weapons to learn more about how these enemies work. I've gone ahead and added a crosshair to my FPS controller to make it easier to see where I'm aiming at. I have a tutorial on crosshairs if you don't know how to make one. But anyways, as you can see, when I shoot at an enemy, they'll take damage on every loop of the animation until their health goes to zero and they die. And that's pretty much it for the basics of assault rifles, but things are looking kind of lifeless right now, so let's shake things up a little bit by adding some camera shake. Back in the script, up in the variables, write const max underscore cam underscore shake equals 0.3, which is the maximum amount our camera will shake. Adjust this to your liking. Then in the fire function under is not an player dot is playing, we're going to add a new line of code, but it's going to be a big one. So let's click this expand window button at the top right to give us more space and write 
camera.translation equals lerp parentheses camera.translation comma vector3 parentheses rand range max cam shake minus max cam shake comma rand range max cam shake minus max cam shake close the parentheses comma zero close the parentheses comma 0.5. We can organize things a bit by breaking up the line like so, but I suggest you pause the video and make sure you've copied everything down correctly. Also, there's going to be a GitHub link for this project down below, so you can just copy and paste it if you want. This will move the camera's X and Y position by a random amount on every animation loop, which creates a camera shaking effect. It also adds some bullet spread to the gun since the raycast is also moving along with the camera. We also need to set the camera translation back to normal when not shooting, so under else, write camera.translation equals vector3. Run the game, and now the screen shakes whenever you shoot, adding that little extra bit of realism. In fact, you can go even further by replacing the gun mesh with something more realistic like this AK-47 model, which you can download for free off my website, links below. You can add visual effects like muzzle flash and bullet holes, I have a tutorial for that as well. And little by little, things start to look pretty good. Anyways, thanks for watching. Links to my Discord, Twitter, and computer setup down below. Like, subscribe, and bell to support the channel. And if you're feeling extra generous, consider supporting the channel directly by buying me a coffee. Links down below. Anyways, thank you, and have a nice day.